Hello friends in this part we are going to learn how can remove data from table by using stored procedure and PHP script has been called by Ajax method. In previous part we have seen how to update data by using stored procedure and PHP script with Ajax query. Here you can see that user data has been displayed under table format. In user data we can see that there is two button in every user data. This button for update and delete data. Here in delete button there is one class delete and in it attribute we have stored particular user in that attribute. So we have go to query code and here we have write dollar with selector as document dot on method and under this method we have right click event delete class of delete button and one function. When we have click on delete button this code will execute. Under this first we have write variable is equal to dollar this selector dot attribute method and under this method we have write ed. Here we have get the value of id attribute of that user on which user is bought and we have clicked by using this selector and store value into this id variable. Then after we have write of statement with confirm with message like are you sure you want to remove this data. When we have click on update button this message will appear on web page with two button like ok and cancel if we click on cancel button then it will execute else block of code and suppose we have click on ok button then it will execute if block of code. If we have click on cancel button then it will execute else block of and under this block we have write return false statement. That means it will not perform any action. But suppose if we click on OK button then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write variable action is equal to delete. This variable value we will use in PHP code. Then after we have write dollar dot Ajax method and under this method we have first write URL set to action dot PHP page. In this option we have send requested to this page. After this we have write method set to post. This option set method to post for sending data to server. Then after we have write data option and under this option we can define which data you want to send to server. In this option we have send it an action variable data send to server. Lastly and we have write success callback function. If we have send request successfully then this function will be called and this function will receive data from the server which have been stored under this data argument. Under this function first we have called fetch user function. This function will return updated users data from table and display under division tag with attribute it is equal to result. Then after we have write alert data, this will pop up alert message which we have received from server. Now we have moved to write PHP code in action.php page. On this page here we have write of statement with condition like dollar post action variable is equal to delete. This condition will check, if value of this variable is equal to delete then this code will execute. Under this block we want to define stored procedure for delete users data, so we have write dollar procedure variable is equal to create procedure delete user with one input variable user id with data type integer. Here we have defined stored procedure with delete user as name. Then after we have write begin and end statement and between this statement we have write delete query like delete from users where it is equal to user id. This will remove particular users data removed from users table. Now our stored procedure for delete data is ready. Now we have write a statement with condition like misclick query function with two argument like database connection string like dollar connect variable and in second argument we have write query like drop procedure if exists delete users. This function will drop delete user stored procedure if it is exists and it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write again if statement with condition like misclick query function with two argument. In first argument we have write database connection string dollar connect variable and in second argument we have write stored procedure which we have stored under dollar procedure variable. This function will create delete user stored procedure and it will execute if block of code. 
Under this block we have write one query variable is equal to call stored procedure name delete user with input variable like dollar posted variable. This way we have call delete user stored procedure and store under this dollar query variable. Then after we have write misclick query function with two argument. In first argument we have write database connection string like dollar connect variable and in second argument we have write dollar query variable. This function will execute query and execute delete user stored procedure query and it will delete data from users table. Lastly we have write echo statement with text like data deleted. This message will be appear on web page after users data has been removed from table. So our code is ready for how to delete data from MySQL database by using stored procedure in PHP script with Ajax method without page refresh. So we have saved this code and check output in browser. Friends you can see that two text box and one add button on web page and below this we can see users data in table format with update and delete button. So when we have click on delete button then it has ask message like are you sure you want to delete this? If we have click on cancel button, then after no action has been taken button again when we have click on delete button then again pop up message. Now we have click on ok button then after we have received pop message like data deleted and after this in table that users data has been from table also without page refresh. So friends our complete system is ready in which we can fetch, insert, edit and delete data from database by using stored procedure in PHP script with Ajax request. Insert, fetch, update and delete records from database by using PHP is a very simple feature for new programmer. But here is something complex task. In this task first of all we have used stored procedure for CRUD operation and second is we have used Ajax method with stored procedure for CRUD operation. So it is something new feature, if you have working on very large data application then you can use stored procedure and with Ajax request. New application working speed will be increased than normal PHP application. This is because stored procedure executes query at database server not on PHP script. So your application will execute faster than normal PHP application. Insert update delete and fetch data is the normal operation in any web application. So if this operation perform fast then your application will run fast. So for execute this basic operation fast. Then you can use stored procedure in your application. Mainly stored procedure are stored in your database and it will execute from database so it will reduce execution load on your PHP page. So this way we can increase execution speed of any web application by using stored procedure in PHP script with Ajax method. If you like this video tutorial, please share this video tutorial with your friends or even you can also share video on social media also. Friends if you want to get more update of my video tutorial, so you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page or you can also follow Webs Listen on Twitter.